Hello, welcome to another video about LSX engines, tuning, and marine. In this video, I want to discuss a uh, dilemma I had with, the, with some speed probe pistons and uh, how I resolved the issue um, without having to spend a lot of money on a special tool. So anyway, um, the bottom line is that um, when you buy speed probe pistons, they come with this little window right there. You see that little sort of oval shape rectangular slot there. And that's where you're supposed to measure the dimension of the piston to get your piston to wall clearance. So the problem is when you measure it with a standard micrometer, which I got right here. So these are called your anvils, the, the, the parts that you, uh, let me see if I get that better clearly. So that part right there is the anvil and that's what you touches the, the material you're trying to measure. And it looks to be approximately almost a quarter of an inch in diameter on both ends. So there's an anvil on that side. That's the moving anvil, that's the stationary anvil. So when you measure the uh, speed probe piston, speed probe piston, the anvil won't fit within that window. So what I got was a reading of minus uh, these pistons are thirty thousandths over thirty thousandths of an inch oversized. So when I measured with a micrometer, I came out to four ten thousandths less than uh, four point zero three four point zero three zero. Well, that's a problem because on the box it states that the minimum clearance for the piston should be one thousandth of an inch. And I was uh, six ten thousandths uh, over that. So, um, I, so what I did some research and found out that what you're supposed to do with these speed pro pistons is buy a special micrometer that has what's called blade anvils. They look like screwdriver blades. So instead of being round, let me see if I can get a better picture. Right there you go. So instead of being round like that, it has two screwdriver slot slotted tips that would fit inside that window. Well, that special tool is about $175. And, it, and then you gotta have one for different size pistons. You gotta have one that's zero to four inches and then you have to have one from four to five inches. So I kind of thought that was a little bit over the top. So what I did to combat that issue was I bought, let me back up a little bit. So I bought two more micrometers. I already had a zero to three, which would measure out to what it would measure. This is my, not zero to three, this is my uh, three to four. And the three to four will measure out to four and thirty thousand inch. So it would handle an oversized piston, four inch oversized piston. But um, what I decided to do was take pennies, wrong one, let me pick up the right one. So what I decided to do is take pennies to the either side of the piston where the rim of the penny is right in that slot. You can see the rim of the penny goes right in the slot on both sides. See that? All right, so what I did was I bought an extra micrometer, and these were much less than $175. Like I paid $40 for this one and $60 for this one. But I took this zero to one inch micrometer and measured the width of the rim of the penny at the top of Lincoln's head. And it came out to, I think the number was 0 .0590 or 0 .0591. I've got it written down and I'll show you that in a minute. So anyway, if you, so you take the two pennies, the two pennies and tape them to this, and then when you measure the piston, when you measure the uh, width, including the rim of the pennies, I got the full width of that. When you subtract the two pennies, then you get a true reading of the, uh, the width of this piston between those uh, inside the little windows, which gives you the true uh, reading of the aluminum. So that's what I did. And uh, I got a much better reading, which I'll show you the numbers in a minute. But, um, one thing I want to show you was um, this is a piston from uh, these are Civilite pistons. This is a Civilite uh, three liter marine engine piston. So you can see they did the more sensible thing. They give you a larger window. They give you a window big enough for the anvil to fit in. So that window's on that side, and then this window's on that side. So when you measure the piston, this one came out at minus 1.7. So it, the clearance on this piston, don't drop it here. Clearance. All right, let's don't do that again. So the clearance on this piston, this piston here, was minus 1.7, or, or basically 1.7 inches, because you can measure directly on the lumen. But I, but this one here is not so. So let me show you the numbers. So I did the math, and so with the pennies included, uh, I measured with my micrometer 4.1464 inches. And I subtract the width of one penny and the width of the second penny at the top of Lincoln's head touching the piston. And I came up with this number, 4.0283, okay? That is 1.7 thousandths 
under 4030. And that's good. So I, that's a proper clearance. One in seven, one in seven, one point seven thousandths is a good clearance for a piston, for, for these pistons. So that, so taking that number, this number, subtracting the number, this is what I measure when I measure with the, uh, without the pennies. And you see it's only four ten thousandths less than four and thirty. So you subtract the width of the metal and you get out with a coating, you come out with a coating thickness of point, 0.0013 inches. That's the width of the coating on the Speed Pro pistons. Somebody, I think I read that the coating was approximately a thousand an inch. Well, it's more closer to, on this, these pistons, 1.3 thousand an inch, which is important. So when you're talking in clearances of a thousand an inch, three tenths of that is, is get, can, can make a difference. So that's what I found out. So the Speed Pro pistons without the coating is approximately, is well, it's not approximately, I measured directly, 0 0.0017 inches. Okay, now, before I actually measure this, I called Speed Pro. I was kind of concerned about, wait a minute, you got, you, if you measure the coating, you get this number, and then if you measure without the coating, you get this number. So I, I wanted to find out, get the scoop. So I called Federal Mogul, who makes Speed Pro pistons, and I talked to the technical service people. And also call the people who make the uh, Civil Light pistons also. So I called both of them. And what I was told was that you don't measure the coating thickness. The coating where, and the, what they said was the coatings for initial startup and break in, and that the coating will wear off the piston over time. So what you really want to know is the metal thickness, the aluminum thickness and not the coating. And so I asked him, well, why did you give me such a narrow window to measure the piston? He said, well, I really can't answer that. That's, uh, that's on the engineering side and, and I don't have any say so in that. But he said, he's the one to point me to the, you have to get a special um, slotted anvil type micrometer to measure them, which I, I kind of thought was ridiculous. But my way of fixing it, like I said, was to tape pennies to the side of the piston and uh, measure, first measure the pennies with a zero to one inch micrometer to get their width, and then measure the total width, subtract the pennies, and I got my metal, width, my metal dimension. So I'm now satisfied I got the right answer. So um, it was kind of a huge, hoop to jump through because they didn't give you a, they didn't design the window properly to met to fit a standard uh, micrometer but i think my method uh, has uh, worked worked out pretty well so now i have the confidence to know that if i if i put these speed pro pistons in, in an engine with a clearance of only four ten thousandths between the coating and the bore i had the bores cut on a motor uh, exactly 4.03 inches 30 thousand inch over and I was concerned about putting these pistons in there with only four ten thousandths of, of clearance. That's too low. But now that I've talked to them and, and decided or learned that the coating doesn't matter and that what really matters is the dim dimension of the metal, I have much more, uh, I feel much better about putting these pistons in this engine. So I just want to show you that in case you run across this same dilemma. And uh, uh, it might be, you might be able to use my numbers for the coating thickness on speed probe pistons, which is 0 0.0013 inches one and 0.3 thousandths of an inch of the coating thickness. So if you measure piston, subtract that and you may get your metal dimension if you want to have a little bit more confidence in your numbers. Just want to share that information for, so that other people learn that the coating is not to be used for measuring the dimensions when you're trying to figure out your piston wall clearance and you really need to measure the metal surface. And even, even if the coating puts it almost at the exact bore, it's going to wear it off and that's what they designed it to do. So. Hope you learned something and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.